All marketing is lies. Everyone does this in trailers, yada, yada, yada. Here's another lie from Naughty Dog in regards to the 2016 Last of Us 2 trailer, which showcases a scene that never occurs in the game. Now, there's all sorts of trailers and video games that never occur. Uh, here's one from Dragon Age Inquisition. Now, this one has some music in the background. It has all these characters doing things. Everyone knew this would never happen in the game or be a cutscene in the game because of its cinematic nature. It's almost like a music video showcasing all these characters. We know that there's only four characters in your party at, t at tops. So to see them all in this regard, as well as show a plot point where the uh, Inquisitor is sealing the breach, which takes almost little to no effort for him, is a little unbelievable. But we see that as a showcase to say, hey, wow, look at all the flashy graphics. Look at all the cool stuff you can do. It's not to be depicted as a scene in the game. We sort of believe that just by looking at the nature of this sensationalistic trailer. So here's this one little section. Then we have all these characters out in the open. Uh, so we, we get this. This is not something to be believed. They're just showcasing stuff. They're showcasing content. That's fine. It's a pre-rendered cinematic just like this one. The difference is we learn about Ellie's plot and it's lying to us in that regard of what the plot is and why. So here's Joel alive and well and see what he has to say. What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? Every last one. And... I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. Okay, so we know the motivation in the game for Ellie is to kill Joel's murderers, or specifically one of them. So she goes on this quest for revenge. She doesn't have this until Joel is killed. So in this regard, with Inquisition, we know what the problem is. Everyone knows there's a breach. Uh, and then all of a sudden, a breach gets closed. This is, I, this is actually a plot point in the game, very early, I think chapter one or two, where we close the breach, we fight that actual monster, it's a lot different in the game, of course, but it's still an actual plot point. They're not lying to us what the story is about. It's about closing the breach and saving Thetis and all that crap. Uh, how it's depicted is obviously bump, is over the top, very cinematic, very music video-like. That was kind of the point. It's supposed to be sensationalistic. In this one, yes, there's music, and yes, she's playing it herself, but it's all leading up to this point where Joel comes into the room and says, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? My plot is to kill a bunch of people. And in the game we find out, oh, it's because Joel died. So that's obviously a disconnect between the narrative of the trailer and the narrative of the game. So still a lie, still marketing, but that's what happened in 2016. Thanks for listening, guys. Have yourself a great day.